And we are following breaking news on the economy. The Federal Reserve just announced it is cutting interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point. That's the second rate cut by the central bank in, that has happened since September. Let's bring in NBC News senior business correspondent Christine Romans, who's with us on set. So, uh, Christine, good to see you. Yes. That uh, last rate cut was half a percentage point. Yes. Now we've got a quarter percentage point cut. What's going on? This is the Fed saying that we're making progress on inflation, and so we don't need to keep interest rates quite so high to try to keep those price pressures under control. So this is the Fed in a new phase. Remember, it had been jacking up interest rates over and over and over again because inflation was spiking, right, after mm -hmm. uh, COVID snarled all those supply chains and Russia invaded Ukraine. And then for a year, it didn't move interest rates at all. It just kept them high. And now this is the beginning of that process, the second step of that process of starting to lower those interest rates back to normal. And Christine, we're expecting to hear from Fed Chair Jerome Powell soon. And a lot of investors listening closely to see if he mentions President-elect Trump. What do we know about what a second Trump turn look, would look like when it comes to the Fed? Well, a couple of things. There are economists who worry that a second Trump term could be inflationary, meaning if you have uh, President-elect Trump putting all kinds of tariffs on goods, those are import taxes. That means you pay more for something because the company passes it along. That could raise prices. Also, um, mass deportations could be something that disrupts different industries. And also a lot of regulation cutting and tax cutting. Those are things that he has promised. Those are good for the stocks of companies. Unclear what that would mean overall for the inflation picture. The Fed always says it is data dependent. That's what they always say. So they won't, I don't think you'll see the Fed chief speculating about what, uh, about what could happen in a second Trump administration. They'll talk about what's happening right now and what they're doing now with the levers they have because of what they see in the numbers. It's interesting. We're showing the markets reacting to some of right. this too. Are we going to see another rate cut this year? We might, but we also might not. I, I don't think you can write off the fact that the economy is still pretty darn strong. And if you keep cutting interest rates, that could re, you know, re, uh, reignite inflation. So there are those out there who think that maybe you see one more rate cut at the end of this year, 25 basis points. So there are some people who think that maybe if the numbers keep coming in strong, they would pause. The irony here is this was an election about inflation. This was an election about sticker shock. And over here at the Fed, they're talking about, do we, do we have it under control? Maybe it's already under control, the inflation story. So isn't that interesting that mm -hmm. on the one hand, yeah. economy looks strong, inflation under control. In the ballot box, that's not the way that America sees it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.